close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. As for your other thoughts right now, you can put them aside. You don't have to follow them. It's a word called restraint. In other words, impulses come into the mind, but you don't have to follow them all. Think of your mind like being a committee. Lots of different members are in there suggesting all kinds of different things. And just because somebody suggests something to a committee doesn't mean that the committee has to go running after it. You stop and you discuss. And you try to discuss with some calm and with some reason, which is one of the reasons why we try to get the mind still and with a sense of ease in the present moment. Because if you're feeling, feeling irritated, antsy, wired up, the discussion is not going to be good. People don't want to listen to reason. They don't want to listen to any, any explanations. They just want to go in line with their, their impulses. And a committee run like that is not going to be well run. It's going to lead to a lot of trouble. So calm things down. Keep the breath calm. Keep your mind calm. Anything else comes up that's not related to the breath right now, you can say, nope, this is not the time for that. We can think about that later. And you begin to see exactly how many garbage thoughts you have in the mind. Because a lot of things, things that come up, when you look at them carefully, really don't have much worth. The more clearly you can see them, the more obvious it is that you want to put them aside. So staying with the breath gives you a good place to see these things clearly, at the same time gives you the strength you need in order to say no. And then you can say yes to the, the impulses that are good, that may require a little bit more effort and a little more thought, and a little more sacrifice on your part for the sake of a larger good, your long-term welfare and happiness, and the happiness of others. But that's what we want in life, don't we, is long-term stuff, not the short-term hits that we get every now and then. We want long-term happiness, long-term well-being. This is how you get the mind in shape so it can actually create that kind of well-being in your life. So the committee inside is well run. The discussions are reasonable. Nobody raises their voices very high. And the decisions come out are decisions you can live by, decisions you can trust.